If you want to discover some of the most beautiful spots around Nice, now's the perfect time. Winter, spring and fall are also fine. You get to catch clear skies, some sun, and the temperatures are great for some outdoor activity. We'll be taking you to some well-known caves like Cap Ferrat and Cap d'Antibes. But let's start right here in our favorite winter hiking area, the Estirel Mountains. Here is what we're covering in this video. Whether you're into hiking or prefer a leisurely stroll, we'll show you some amazing places that we're certain you'll adore as much as we do. Just avoid July and August. It's too hot for physical stuff during the summer. As promised, we're kicking off our tour in the stunning Red Volcanic Mountains, located in the westernmost part of our department, the Estirel Mountains. You've likely spotted them from a distance and heard us mention them frequently in our other videos. An exit to a 360-degree view from downtown Cannes, to the shimmering Mediterranean Sea and the Estoril Mountains at the horizon. What do we like about these mountains so much? Well, the most impressive aspect is the breathtaking sea view, surrounded by nothing but vibrant reds, lush greens and the endless blue sky. And lots of yellow right now, because February marks the high season for mimosas. They are in full bloom. Interestingly, they were introduced to the French Riviera by Australians over a century ago. Similarly, eucalyptus trees have encroached upon parts of our département, notably in the area around mondelieu la napoule and Tanneron, displacing indigenous flora. There are numerous hiking trails that crisscross the Estirel Mountains. One starts right here in teoult sur mer you could take the train to this cute little town and walk for maybe 10 minutes to get to this beach right here. Take the stairs to get down from street level, walk along the sea until you reach the port and there the trail to the Coulé des Manges starts to your right. It's a six kilometer trail with an elevation gain of approximately 300 meters and takes about two and a half hours. We were here on a Sunday in early February and we definitely weren't the only ones around. Another hike in the same mountains with even more spectacular views of the sea and the surrounding landscape is the one around the Pic du Cap Roux. This nine kilometer tour takes you all the way up to these gorgeous red rocks that are around 450 meters above sea level. Be prepared to walk for around four hours. And don't forget to bring water and some food. If you're not keen on physical activity, you should still come. The route around the Estirel Mountains from Théoul-sur-Mer to Saint Raphael is one of the most beautiful roads in France for sure. No wonder it's called the Corniche d'Or golden corniche, with corniche referring to a panoramic coastal road next to a cliff or mountain. So hop in a car and enjoy the ride. Along the way you'll find many parking lots, some of which also provide access to small hidden beaches. The French Riviera has a beautiful coastline and there are promenades and footpaths literally all along the stretch of close to 100 kilometers from Montan in the east to Théoul-sur-Mer in the west, which are just perfect for strolls during the sunny off-season. Fortunately, the coastal areas in France have to be open to the public, so let's take full advantage of that. You'll discover the most breathtaking sections of the coastline in just a moment, when we introduce you to the various capes. And if you stay tuned until after the capes, you'll find out about another stunning coastal hike that starts right in Nice and takes you to Villefranche-sur-Mer. Cap d'Antibes is one of the famous spots on the French Riviera that make you think of millionaires and fancy estates. But our walk is all about nature, a world apart from the built-up coastlines in Nice, Cannes or Monaco. 
We parked right behind the Plage de la Garoupe, where the footpath along the sea begins. The walk of close to five kilometers takes about two hours. And even though it's right by the sea, it has a fairly sporty profile. So please wear sneakers instead of flip-flops. At the end of the coastal path, with its surprisingly rough landscape made of white limestone cliffs and deep coves, you take a ride at this lookout point in order to walk back inland through the small streets of the Cape. But before you leave the coast, glance to the west and admire the silhouette of... Take a wild guess? Exactly, our beloved Esterel Mountains. At Cap Ferrat, there are several paths and trails to choose from. The easiest one, nicely paved, takes you from the port of Saint-Jean-Cap-Ferrat to Beaulieu in about 30 minutes. It offers scenic views of sea and mountains, you'll find little beaches, and the Hotel Royal Riviera right next to the path is always great for coffee or refreshments. Another nice walk takes you around the little thumb of Cap Ferrat, the so-called Pointe saint hospice it's a short hike that's going to take less than an hour if you start at this small cafe that might not be open in winter. Parking in this area can be a little tricky, so you could just as well begin your walk at the port of Saint-Jean. When you get to this small beach, you're just five minutes away from the starting point at the cafe. And if you're into serious hiking, we definitely suggest you try the following trail. It's about six kilometers long and takes you almost all around the peninsula of Cap Ferrat. Plan for two to three hours, depending on how fast you walk. Here's another coastal path you should know about, the Sentier Littoral in Cap d'Ail. Even though it's actually in France, it's just a stone's throw away from Monaco. You could start at the parking lot at Plage Marquet, next to Monaco Fontvieille, and walk all the way to the beautiful beach called Plage de la Mala, and back. That would make for a five kilometer trip, taking about two and a half hours. But of course you could keep it shorter and just return earlier. Once again, it's a very nicely paved path that provides views of an awe-inspiring landscape. The second to last cape you'll see today is Cap Martin, close to the Italian border. Here you'll find the former customs officer's footpath, that takes you on a well-paved two-hour stroll along the ragged shoreline between Monton and Monaco. You can take the train back to your starting point at Monton Carnoles station. Away from cars and the noise of the town, this path is named after the renowned architect and artist Le Corbusier. Speaking of architecture, just before you reach the train station in Roquebrune Cap Martin, you'll find Eileen Gray's famous house called E1027, situated between your path and the sea, at a site now known as Cap Moderne, which is open to visitors. For those of you who stay in Nice, right next to the city center, there's another small cape, the Cap de Nice, obviously, which you can walk along to reach the beautiful little town of Villefranche-sur-Mer. Starting from the port in Nice, it's about five kilometers one way, and there are many stairs involved, so it's a little more strenuous than it might seem. If you feel tired once you've arrived in Villefranche, you could always take the train back instead. However, definitely plan some time to wander around this charming place. And why not relax some at the beach? If you come for a summer holiday, your main activities will be probably more going to the beach or eating ice cream. but. If you really like hiking and you want to explore the French Riviera by walking, we suggest you to go up to the mountains. And this is actually what the locals do, because it's cool and fresh there and you can really escape the heat. 